What's up, interweb? Raikwin here, and welcome to Raikwin Stream Battles. This is once again a brand new series on the channel where I'm going to be taking battles that I've had on my streams because I've started doing Wi-Fi battling streams over on twitch.tv slash Raikwin. And I'm going to take the best of the bunch that I have from, uh, from every stream, and I'm going to be post-commentating them and sticking them up on this very YouTube channel. So... Provides me with a bit more content for Twitch, provides me with a bit more content for YouTube, and hopefully you guys are entertained and you get to see some awesome battles, because uh, there were some really good ones. I've had one battling stream so far, which is obviously this is the very first stream battle that I'm post-commentating. I had five battles, I went four and one, uh, and they were all really, really good battles. They were all really competitive, very close, and they could have really gone either way, so all of them were really top tier, and I could have chosen any of them to post-commentate, but I've chosen this one for various reasons. You can see... On the screen, my opponent, and hopefully you would have seen in the title and in the thumbnail, that my opponent is none other than Trav. Travis the one who won the PPL last season, PPL Division 1. Uh, he won that in the season just gone, season 3. Um, and he's just an all-round awesome person. And you can see the team that he's brought is actually his PPL team from the season just gone. Apparently he said, with a few modifications. Uh, so it's not exactly a set team that he brought. But there's uh, the Mons that are there, and he's modified a few of the moves on them, I guess. Uh, and he's brought the team that's there. So, my team is a fun team that, that I uh, have used in OU quite a bit. Uh, it only has one OU Mon on it, but uh, which is Mega Scizor. But the rest of them are pretty cool people. They, uh, they do various jobs. I just felt like using a team of lower tier Pokemon and prove how they can be used in higher tiers. And it's worked quite well. This team that I used on Showdown, I managed to ladder to the 1500s with it. Did pretty well. And uh, and I'm going to be facing Trav's team. It's very, very spooky. Thunderous Incarnate, Tyranitar, Excadrill, Latios, Slowbro, and Embor. Uh, and I was very, very scared of that Latios being the very famous Latios, being the Jewel Screens Memento Safeguard Latios that Trav brought against Shardy in his Week 11 match. And obviously very spooky sand offense with Titar and Excadrill, as well as a very powerful Embor and a bulk personified Mon in uh, Slowbro, as well as Latios can potentially be very bulky as well, and potential scary setup in Thunderous, so just threats all over the place, very scary stuff. Um, but let's get straight into the battle and see how this one goes. Now, I am going to lead with my Rotom Mo because it is Scarfed. And I'm thinking that it has a pretty decent matchup against pretty much everything on his team. I can Volt Switch over pretty much everything aside from the Excadrill. The Excadrill I can burn because I do have the Will-O-Wisp. He leads with the Embor though. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp expecting him to switch into Excadrill. He doesn't. He goes for a Super Power and, uh, and, and, and Rotom just dies. He, he, he just dies. Turn 1. Yeah, bye bye Rotom. I made the manly play expecting the, uh, the risky switch from him into Excadrill as I went for the Will-O-Wisp. Didn't pay off. Now I'm going to go into Rhyperia and I'm like... Are you banded? Are you banded? You might be banded, right? I don't, mm, I'm not sure. That looked like a lot of damage. But he does switch out his Embor, goes into Slowbro, as I'm going to get up my rocks, which is going to be very nice for ones like the Thunderous, and to generally help wear everything down. Now, obviously, I don't want to be taken a Scold, so I'm going to switch out my Rapira right here, uh, and I'm going to go on into my Milotic. Milotic is more specially bulky. It's mixed with with more lean towards the special side. Is he, 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 as he is going to reveal the Grass Knot, which actually does a pretty decent amount to this, uh, to this Milotic. I'm thinking this might be an offensive Slowbro, uh, which is weird on the team that already has a lot of offense. Uh, but now he's going to pull a switch out into his Latios. He's going to take Rock's damage, as I'm just going to drop a Toxic, which is very nice to get. I was thinking he's not going to switch in Excadrill right now on a potential Scold. I was thinking he wanted to switch in the Latios, and I wanted to Toxic that thing, because wearing that thing down, especially if this thing's Life Orb, it's going to be really, really nice to help wear that thing down super duper quick. So, I'm going to get some lefties back, he's going to take some poison, and now I'm thinking, hmm, I don't want to be set up on, remember I'm thinking that this might be the dual screens Mento setup thing, and I'm like, okay, if he doesn't have any attacking moves, I'm going to go into Mega Scizor, and I'm going to start setting up in his face with Sword Stances, but he reveals the Thunderbolt, which does a decent amount of damage, so I'm like, okay, it's not the Latios, it's not that Latios, thank god. Uh, and now he's going to switch out his Latios, and he's going to go on out into his Embor again, knowing he can take any hit from this Mega Scizor, and he can respond with a possibly banded hit, and he's, it's going to be very much Owl for my team. I forgot to click the Mega button right here. I was supposed to click Mega Evolution, but you know, I didn't. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't really come into play. Now I'm going to switch out, and I'm going to test if this guy actually is banded. I'm going to go out into my Rhyperia, 
hoping he clicked the Flare Blitz, but he's better than that. He clicks the Super Power button, and, um, pfft, yep, he's banded. This is a fully physically defensive Rhyperior with Solid Rock, and that just did a stupid amount of damage. Uh, so this is 100% banded. No, no questions asked. That's absolutely categorically banded. It's going to go for a minus one superpower, and that still is going to be enough to knock out my Rhyperior. Just sacked it off, and now I know he's at minus two, and now I had an elaborate ruse to play. I'm going to go on out right now. Knowing he's at minus two defense, I'm going to go out into my Infinape, and I'm, I'm going to bluff the fact that I have Earthquake, and I don't have Earthquake, I'm going to force him out because at minus, at minus two defense, an Earthquake from an Infinite would kill him. And I'm going to go for a U-turn, expecting either the Latios or the Slowbro to switch in to take said Earthquake. It is going to be the Slowbro, and I'm going to get the U-turn initiative right on out of there, which is going to be great, and I can deal with that Ember another day, uh, which is going to be awesome. Now, uh, I'm going to get the initiative, and I'm going to go back into my Mega Scizor. This might seem kind of weird, um, but, because obviously I don't want to be taking a scold, but now I'm going to pull a double, baiting in the Embor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out my Meloetta, expecting the Embor to switch in to take any hit from that, uh, Mega Scizor. Which it can, it can take any hit from the Mega Scizor, no problem. Uh, is he is going to switch back in the Embor perfectly, so I'm like, alright, Meloetta, let's just click slice shot, let's take out this, uh, this Embor right here, and oh, he has Sucker Punch. But Meloetta lives it on six! What an absolute monster! Meloetta coming in with the clutch live, coming in with the side shock, and bye bye, Mr. Ember. Possibly the biggest threat on my opponent's side. Bye bye, off you go, you're gone. Absolute monster that Meloetta is. Now, I'm going to collect Psyshock in this turn right here. I do have Hyper Voice, uh, but I didn't want him to set up a substitute because Hyper Voice would bypass a sub, do damage to Thunderous, but wouldn't kill it, and then he'd still be behind a substitute if uh, if Meloetta went down the following turn. So I collect the Psyshock there, but he just clicks Thunderbolt, uh, and Meloetta goes down. Now I'm going to go into Mega Scizor because I know I can take pretty much any hit from this guy. If he wants to set up a substitute, I can break it. If he wants a nasty plot, no, 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 no. Uh, so he's just gonna go straight for the Thunderbolt, gonna get off a good amount of damage against his Mega Scizor. But I'm pretty damn bulky, I take that just fine, just under half. I'm gonna go for a big old knockoff, and we knock off his Expert Belt, get a huge amount of damage off, and now he's in range from a Bullet Punch from this Mega Scizor. Bye bye Thunderous, was nice knowing you, my friend. And now, uh, we're looking fairly decent, but in comes the Excadrill, and I'm like, I'm in range from an Earthquake right now. I know that much. This is obviously an offensive Excadrill. It's an Excadrill. Of course, it's going to be offensive. Uh, as I'm going to go into my Lotic and see if I can take this. I'm especially based my Lotic. I'm not physically defensive. And that Earthquake just does so much damage. Like, ow! That really hurt my feelings, dude. Like, that is just so much damage. And I'm going to have to sack off my Milotic right here. It was a bit unfortunate, but I did have a kind of sort of plan anyway. So my lot is going to go down to another Earthquake, and Excadrill picks up the kill right here. But now, I can go out into my Infinite, and I'm not going to mess around with the threat in front of me. I'm just going to click Flamethrower, because I want this Excadrill gone. And he overpredicts right here. He expected me to be stupid and go for the U-turn, which is fair enough. It's definitely a play I considered, but I'm not I'm not messing around with it. I'm just going to click Flamethrower, and Excadrill goes down, which is beautiful. Now, I don't have to worry about Sandrush Excadrill just to absolutely destroy my face, which is great. Now, in comes the Latios, and he's just going to go straight for a Draco Meteor, and this Infinite is just going to die. Uh, I clicked the U-turn there just in case he wanted to try and overpredict. I felt like the switch into uh, Mega Sizzle may have been fairly obvious. Also, I might have been banking on the fact that he wasn't a max speed Latios. I felt like he might have been more of a defensive one. I know he re the th revealed the Thunderbolt, but uh, I was thinking he might be more of a defensive one, bearing in mind that he has uh, Ember, which was banded, uh, Excadrill's Life Orb. He's already uh, shown potentially offensive slow bro, so I'm like, okay, maybe he's bulky. But now he's going to go for another Draco revealing he's most likely Scarfed. I'm going to chew that old A&I and take this opportunity. Let's go for a Swords Nuts. Oh, baby, this is looking good. So he gets a plus two with Mega Scizor with the Latios in front of me, and I'm thinking, he can't touch me. He actually cannot touch me. He's getting slowly worn down with poison. He actually can't touch me. He's going to go for another Draco again. I'm just banking basically on no crit. Basically, no crit, and I'm good. No crit, and I am in the clear right here. He's going to go for another Draco. We chew it like it's nothing. He's going to get down to minus four, minus six now, whatever he is. Now I'm going to go for another Swords Dance, get to plus four. Yay, right? That's that's looking pretty damn tasty. And uh, and now it's go down where Latios is going to die to poison next turn. He's going to go for one last Draco, hoping for the crit, I guess. The Draco's going to come in. He never misses a Draco, by the way. But if Draco comes in, we chew it like it's absolutely nothing. 
and now I'm going to get off a roost. So I'm at plus four, I'm at good HP, and this Latios is going to go down to the poison damage right here. And he has two Pokemon left, that being Tyranitar and Slowbro. And I'm a Mega Sizzle. At plus four. Just saying. In comes the T-Tar. He's going to set up the uh, the Irrelevant Sandstream, which probably would have uh, suited him better earlier with the Excadrill and stuff, but he did the overprediction with the Infinite's Flamethrower. And now I'm going to be able to fire off a plus four Bullet Punch. And this T-Tar goes down. It was nice knowing you. The crit did not matter on that Bullet Punch. And now all he's got left is the Slowbro. And I want to be able to outspeed it. And I'm going to be able to take out this Slowbro with a plus four knockoff, which is going to seal up the game. And we can see that we knock off this Slowbro's Assault Vest, which is pretty interesting. Uh, AV Slowbro, which is pretty cool. Um, but that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the game. And we take that game 1-0. That is stupidly close. It was a really fun match. And a Mega Sizzle coming in absolute clutch at the end there, setting up with the SDs to be able to take uh, the mini sweep, I guess, uh, to take out the t -tar and the Slowbro to take the game for me. That was such a fun match, Trav. Good game, my friend. And uh, if you guys haven't heard of Trav, please do go down in the description and click the links to his channel. Like I said, he won the PPL uh, in the season just gone. Unfortunately, he's not returning to the PPL for the next season because he is actually going to be moving to France all the way from Australia. So, you know, that kind of takes priority. Um, but please do... Why can't I talk today? Please do go check out his other content because it is very good. He's a good friend of mine. Obviously, I'm not going to be linking everyone in the description for every every one of these stream battles because not everyone that battles me in stream is going to have a YouTube channel. But on this occasion, this is my good buddy and he does have a YouTube channel. So please do go check it out. Would be very much appreciated if you haven't already. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these stream battles. I'm hoping to do more of these in the future, of course. Um... I think I'm probably going to do one more battle from uh, the initial stream, which will probably come sometime next week. Uh, just in time for when uh, I can get the next stream up uh, with more battles, which will come on my channel later. So, if you guys want to be in with the chance of battling me on stream, make sure to come by my streams. Twitch.tv slash Rykwin. Link is down below in the description. You can follow that, drop a follow, and get notified every single time I go live. And that means if you win the raffle, come onto the stream, win the raffle, you get a chance to battle me. And uh, if the battle's a good one, it can end up on this YouTube channel right here. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the very first stream battle from my streams. I hope uh, you are looking forward to more of them. And I hope you guys get your teams ready for the next battle stream, whenever that may be. If you want to know when the battle streams will be, make sure to check my schedule on my Twitch page or my Twitter. I'll be tweeting out all the time whenever I'm going to be streaming and all that stuff. So, make sure to go down below, follow those links in the description, leave a like if you did enjoy, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the match and what other tiers you want me to do, any suggestions for mods you want me to bring to potential stream battles and all that stuff. Do make sure to go do all the usual stuff down below, and hopefully I'll see you guys sometime soon. Toodaloo.